Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's explore color balance filter. So I've right now got the sample file from the Substance Painter. Okay, this uh, is a preview sphere. You can uh, get from open sample option and then choose a preview sphere from the sample files. Uh, it has got some materials, I've deleted them. Now, I would like to take a uh, material which has got some or the other type of colors. So here I've got a sample material, which is a human face. So I'm going to drag that and drop it on the model. So that brings up human female 30s face. It is a uh, you know example or uh, the material available inside the substance painter. You can just use that. Now filter can be used to any fill layer or it can be used for the uh, mask also uh, in the layer stack. Let's say if you have added anything in this, let's say if it is a fill and in the fill, if you have added a texture, okay. Uh, and uh, uh, if you put a filter on top of it, whatever filter you put, Okay, that filter is going to affect the layers below this stack. So color balance uh, is just a simple color correction tool. So I'm going to delete these two things and then just come up with this. And this is a, a fill layer. There's no stack uh, in it, layer stack. And uh, if I apply a filter to this, uh, the effect is going to be visible on this layer. So go to add filter layer and then go to this filter called color balance. So color balance is uh, just a uh, a simple color correction tool so we have uh, three things here one is uh, the highlights uh, the second one is the midtones and the shadows so we have three sliders here red green and blue let's say if you increase the red uh, value which is right now zero the red in the midtones will be multiplied and if i generally reduce that that in the total image the red will be subtracted uh, and that is in uh, in the midtone region only so if i select this and slide it like that you should be able to see there is a, a red tint added over the model. However, when I reduce that value below zero, you are actually removing the red, which leaves the uh, green and blue channels and green and blue channels put together is cyan. So that is why you, you got cyan uh, on the other side. So red is added or when you remove the red, it's ending up with cyan color. Uh, uh, and you have the green, when you increase the green, it adds the green to your image. And when you remove, red and blue mixes together and gives you magenta ending up giving you the magenta tone to your image and then you got the blue increase the blue or when you remove it it turns uh, red and green channel put, put together yellow so i've uh, preferably used midtones because uh, this picture uh, doesn't have very drastic um, you know highlights and shadows so the total colors are in the midtone range so i've used that Let's say if I use the highlights and then slide it, you may not see much difference because there are no highlight ranges, but uh, it's actually working in those regions actually. Okay. And we have shadows also, which is the darker regions. Again, when you increase that, the shadows are, uh, the darker parts are becoming more reddish. And uh, the same thing applies with the green channel and the blue channel. Okay. So as I told, I can apply to a, a fill layer I can apply to a paint layer or in a normal fill layer if you have added a stack above stack you can add as a filter and also you can add a mask and in the mask if you got a stack again in that stack you can add uh, the filter whichever you have with you so color balance is uh, a color correction tool uh, which will help you in slight adjustments of colors or tints of your image